Hello everybody, greetings from Chennai in India. Today I'm going to briefly talk about turmeric as an emerging therapeutic agent. Turmeric is a plant belonging to the genus Curcumin longa. The word curcuma is derived from the Arabic word curcum, which means saffron. It grows in hot, humid conditions and requires plenty of water. It is cultivated in India, China, Indonesia and Thailand. India is the largest producer and consumer of turmeric. Arab merchants carried it from India to the European market in the 13th century AD. Turmeric is used in a lot of Indian cuisines, especially in curry and prepared mustard. Curcumin is the yellow pigment that is the active component of turmeric which is extracted from the root of the plant. The polyphenols found in turmeric are very strong antioxidants and potent scavengers of reactive oxygen species ROS. Curcuminoids give yellow color while the oils provide the aromatic smell and hence is used in perfumes and aromatherapy. It grows to a height of about a meter and is a perennial rhizomatous plant. It is poorly absorbed but rapidly metabolized in the liver and eliminated in the gallbladder. Turmeric is used in Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Chinese and folk medicine. It is a home remedy in India for cough, anorexia, rheumatism and dental disorders. A hot poultice made from turmeric and slaked lime is used to relieve muscle pain and inflammation caused by injury. It is also applied as turmeric paste to fresh lacerations and to the newborn's umbilical cord in rural India. Women in the postpartum period are given milk with turmeric and honey to drink. In India, turmeric is considered to be a sacred plant and a harbinger of prosperity. The paste is applied to the entire body the day before the marriage, both on the bride and the groom. It is used in temples and religious rituals like pujas and homams. The kumkum or the red mark which Indian married women use on the center of the forehead is traditionally prepared by alkalinizing turmeric powder and adding alum, leaving it overnight. It's a very cumbersome procedure. Today, it is mostly prepared commercially using synthetic dyes and it is mass produced. Turmeric is used as in condiments, in cooking for its aroma and color. It is also used in textile and cosmetic industry as a coloring agent. Its color is very similar to that of the synthetic tartarus in yellow. Cosmetology. A few months ago, Dr. Paul Isunian of UK spoke on YouTube on how turmeric is used to reduce the axillary hairs and as a lightening agent. Dermatological uses. A clinical trial using 6 grams per day of turmeric orally was found effective in oral lichen planus. However, it could not be sustained because of the diarrhea that it produced. Turmeric is also tried orally in psoriasis since curcuminoid blocks the nuclear factor kappa beta pathway which plays an important role in the pathogenesis of psoriasis. Clinically, it has not proved to be of much use in psoriasis when given orally, possibly because of poor absorption. One way of overcoming this is to administer curcumin with black pepper, which contains piperine, which in turn increases the bioavailability of turmeric. Similarly, encapsulating curcumin in liposomes leads to better absorption. Photoaging of skin has been shown to be caused by both exposure to long ultraviolet or UVA and also short ultraviolet UVB. Such photo damage, apart from the cosmetic problems it poses like wrinkling of the skin, pigmentation, telangiectasia, etc., can lead to both melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer in some patients. This is through the activation of the same pathway we spoke about, nuclear factor kappa B. As mentioned earlier, curcumin is a potent inhibitor of this pathway 
instead of oral curcumin, turmeric is now being used as topically as curcumin 1% gel. And this has found to be useful in reducing and sometimes even reversing photo damage. Curcumin accelerates wound healing. It acts as an anti-inflammatory agent and is said to be superior to the effect of ibuprofen. In vitro studies of curcumin on prostatic cancer cell lines showed that it has anti-androgenic properties. So it is now being tried in androgenetic male pattern hair loss. Side effects of oral turmeric constipation, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, but nothing serious or life threatening. Many patients object to its use because of the orange color it imparts to the skin. A derivative of turmeric called compound X has been extracted recently from the plant and it has been found to be a potent curcuminoid without the orange color of the parent substance. So this particular compound X blocks micro RNA 21, which in turn plays an important role in psoriasis. An important side effect to be guarded against is the ability of curcumin to cause increased clearance of beta blockers. It is also contraindicated in patients with obstructive jaundice and any obstruction of the biliary tract. An unusual side effect of turmeric occurred during the COVID years. Turmeric, like many other drugs including hydroxychloroquine and anti-elmenthic drugs, was touted as a natural preventive medicine against the dreaded virus. So the government of India advised susceptible individuals to regularly take half a teaspoon of turmeric powder twice daily. A middle-aged woman in her anxiety to ward off the COVID effects took twice the recommended dose for many weeks and then found that a yellow pigmentation occurred over the proximal part of her nail plates. So this grows out after some time once the turmeric is stopped. So turmeric, which is such a safe and versatile plant product with a wide repertoire of clinical activity, surely needs more attention and research in allopathic medicine. Thank you.